okay i'm happy now to start um the it's better in the bahamas webinar i'm going to hand over to sangeeta um sangeeta over to you tell us all about the webinar what your prizes are and introduce your your guests please today Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sarah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to, well, it's just got better, even better in the Bahamas. So joined today um, for this uh, uh, webinar, we have Vashti, who's going to talk about our new, brand new luxurious hotel, uh, Goldwyn um, Resorts and Residences. And some of you may have already uh, met Yasmin uh, online. Uh, she's going to tell us all about uh, comfort suites. Um, and I've just come back. I was a guest there end of March for my own personal holidays, and I had an amazing stay. So thank you very much, Yasmin. So without further ado, I will um, start my presentation. So I hope you all are ready, willing, you've got your notes uh, ready to uh, scribble down things because there is going to be questions at the end of uh, the um, webinar, and we're giving away £50 rewards or equivalent in US dollars, and then you know, keep um, uh, keep your screens on so you can see the uh, last slide where we'll talk about the uh, rewards program we have on um, uh, MBR. So uh, welcome and let's get started. Bear with me. Just making sure we have the sound on and here we are sorry technical issues right here we go let's take you to Nassau Paradise Island hello neighbor you look like you could use a break so why don't you pop on over Kick off your shoes and relax. Feel the sand between your toes and a sweet island breeze against your skin. Bring the kids if you like. We haven't seen each other in a while and we have a lot of catching up to do. Nassau Paradise Island, Bahamas. Your island home right next door. Right, so who wants to go to the Bahamas? Can I have some um, eyes or me or love hearts or thumbs up or whatever? Because I'm going to tell you how you can be in a chance to join us uh, on one of our future fan trips. So where is Nassau? Well, Nassau is very, very close to Florida. It is, uh, of course, the Caribbean Um amazing news for us here out of UK and also from Europe. We have now daily services uh, from Heathrow into Nassau. So plenty of, you know, direct, uh, um, um, you know, single center holiday options as well as two center uh, holiday options, not only from the USA, but also from Canada. So I'm here to share some uh, top selling tips with you, introduce you to all our member hotels, uh, and uh, hopefully that will give you a little bit more confidence to recommend to sell um, our member hotels in Nassau and Paradise Island. So British Airways, as of April, is offering daily services out of uh, Heathrow. It's direct, so it goes straight from Heathrow to um, Nassau, which is absolutely fantastic this is the first time in the history of us being here in in the uk uh, that we have so much air lift so there is no um no excuse uh you know not to recommend uh, the bahamas now virgin also introduced their services as of um uh, november uh, a year before so they've been flying this route now for a while. They were four flights a week in winter and they will go back to four flights in winter. But at the moment they service, um, they've got two flights out of again, London Heathrow into Nassau. So plenty of choices. Um, and it's really easy, nine and a bit hour flight um, and the services for both the you know uh, um, carriers is fantastic. So 
Let me introduce you to our member hotels. Uh, we are, I am uh, Sankita Makwana. For those of you who don't know me, um, I am the marketing director here in UK and Europe. I am your point of call. I am on the NASA Rewards team as well. Uh, and at the end of the presentation, I'll share my contact details. We're more than happy for you to reach out to us directly if you have any questions, if there's anything we can help you with, um, you know, any ideas, any tips, please feel free to reach out to us directly either through the NASA Rewards um, internal email system or directly uh, to my email address. Um, so we look after 18 hotels in Nassau and Paradise Island. So let's start with, as you arrive into the airport, uh, hotels that are on Cable Beach and then downtown Nassau and then across the bridge into Paradise Island. So we've got Sandals Royal Bohemian. A lot of you already, if, if not everybody, will know the Sandals brand. So we've got Sandals, we've got um, the Bahamar Luxury Resorts, which has SLS Bahamar, Grand Hyatt, Rosewood. And our star of the show today is Goldwyn Resorts and Residences. And then in downtown Nassau, we've got Margaritaville and a small hotel with a big personality, Greycliff Hotel. So let's tell you a little bit more about each one of them. Sandals Royal Bohemian is, of course, all inclusive. Uh, it reopened uh, last year in January after a major renovation. It's looking absolutely stunning. Uh, you know, it has added more swim up suites and water features and brand new 10 eateries or restaurants options plus three food cart option. The food cart option is fantastic. I was at Bahamar um, at Grand Hyatt and they have these food carts on the beach and it's fantastic. You can just walk up. You don't need to cover up or anything in your swimsuits. You can go up and order your food, your drinks, your Bahama Mamas. It's really fantastic um, uh, option. So one that you want to recommend to your, your customers. Um, just to give you a little bit insight into the, the amazing uh, swim up suites, how the new property or the new refurbed uh, resort is looking like, and of course it has its private island, uh, Sandals Island. Going on to um, our luxury resort, Bahamar, you've got three hotels. Uh, you've got, as I mentioned, Rosewood Bahamar, so your high-end clients who perhaps want to be part of a bigger resort but want their exclusivity um you know rosewood is is certainly the brand and the hotel you want to recommend it also has its own private entrance if they don't want to come through the main entrance they can come from the side entrance the good news is that they have access to all these facilities and what do i mean by that we have so many restaurants, we have a golf course, we have Baja Bay, which is a water park. So if you think about your multi-generational um, family travel, you know, you could have people staying, the grandparents perhaps staying at Rosewood, you can have the families with younger children staying in Grand Hyatt, and maybe the young adults staying in SLS Bahamar, which is absolutely fun, um, chic hotel, the Sky Bar, which is right at the top is a must uh, visit, offers you the best views of um, uh, sunset and, and the, the Cable Beach area. So definitely one to remember and um, recommend to your clients. Activities in resort. I mentioned the, um, the golf course. It's actually a Royal Blue Jack Nicholas Par 72 course. Uh, it's important for, the, for, for your golfing clients, as you would know. Um, something that's really, really fun and quirky at this resort is yoga with flamingos. And uh, why flamingos? Flamingos are uh, the national bird of uh, the Bahamas. And this is a resident flock. So they march around uh, the resort um, three times a day. Uh, and you can also do, you can pre-book a yoga session, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you also have the largest casino in the Caribbean. Um, it's not dark and dingy, so you know you you. It's not hidden in one side of the resort. It's actually right in the heart of the hotel. Um, it's in Grand Hyatt in this beautiful, uh, you know, ceiling to floor window um, area. So plenty of daylight, and it's of course 
an option if you if you like uh, spending your time uh you know um gambling away then then so be it otherwise you know look at the view from from that window it's absolutely stunning and remember there's more than 360 days of sunshine in in the bahamas so who wants to be indoors a little bit introduction into the rooms uh, is 1,800 guest rooms, including 230 suites. The decor is fantastic. It's very light and airy. Um, they do uh, like a fountain show at night. There is a fire show also at night. So there's plenty happening uh, in the resort itself, other than, of course, the water park and the golf and the dining options and the casino. And the, the jazz bar is fantastic as well. SLS Bahamar, I love the rooms here. It's 299 rooms, four restaurants and five bars. This is just in the hotel. Plus, of course, again, you have access to all the other restaurants um, within the complex or within the, the, the resort. Um, Rosewood, absolutely stunning. It's got um, this really nice homely vibe. It's got 232 rooms, suites and villas. Um, within the resort, you've got two restaurants and two bars. But of course, you know, again, you've got... Um, Cafe Bulu, you've got uh, so many different, Filia, which is an Italian restaurant, you know, you've got Monkey Bar and all sorts of, uh, um, you know, bars and restaurants. You, literally, it would be hard to leave the resort to go and experience anything else. But please recommend, um, there is an area which is literally a five to 10 minutes taxi ride from, from Bahamar, uh, the whole of Cable Beach, actually. It's called Fish Fry or Arwa Key, and you have local restaurants there. It starts off, uh, it's a whole strip, and it starts off with restaurants, then uh, it kind of uh, culminates in, in uh, little uh, shacks and little restaurants. It's all locally owned. So the best way to soak in that foodie vibe outside of resorts, and it's only a 10 minutes taxi ride from Sandals, um, uh, Bahamar, and of course, Goldwyn as well. So moving into downtown Nassau, so if you're staying at Margaritaville, for example, or Great Cliff, you can walk most of this area. You know, the waterfront is, is you know, thanks to Margaritaville, they've spilled out and there is a great vibe just at the waterfront where you have, you know, the cruise terminals or, you know, when there is cruises uh, in, in port you know, the, the beachfront or the waterfront vibe is fantastic. You've got all these, you know, people, um, uh, local artisans selling things. You've got the store market there, but you can easily walk within a half an hour, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, sort of a, a, a two or three miles mile radius. You can walk to all the museums and uh, distilleries and this, it's it's a really really great vibe lots of restaurants you've got um senior frog right in the front of the you know by, by the cruise terminal uh, you know we, we can walk to um uh, tortuga rum cake uh, shop you can walk to um my favorite there is to walk to John Watlin's distillery. You can do a free tour of the distillery. By the way, you can only get uh, that rum in uh, the Bahamas. Um, and there is a nice little uh, restaurant area where you can try the uh, the rum. You can buy the rum. You can order yourself some cocktails or there is a little um, food cart area. You can order things like conch fritters and chicken and all sorts so it's really nice vibe just to walk around there and enjoy at least a day in this area so margaritaville resort this is fun and uh, um you know it's uh, it's it's brilliant if you want to be in the heart of downtown nassau it's got 295 um, ocean view rooms, suites and residences. It's got 12 restaurants and bars. And of course, it's got a water park. So think about your family um, um, clients. They would love this. They can eat at the hotel if they choose to. They can just come out of the hotel and walk down to uh, right in the heart of downtown Nassau. They can eat at the local restaurants and soak in all the vibe. Go into the straw market, for example, or go to Greycliff, which, as I mentioned, is a small hotel with a big personality. It's only got about 21 rooms, but it's got things like the Bahama Barrels, which is where you can um, 
do wine tasting, or you can even for special occasions, they can, a sommelier can help you mix your own wine. You've got uh, the Choc Artisans Chocolate Factory that you can tour. It's only about $11 pounds to $11 to go in and you get a really nice uh, tour of um, at the chocolate factory. It's, it's fantastic. You also have a cigar factory here. The restaurant is is fine dining. Um, and then, of course, the Great Cliff also houses the third largest private collection of wine, as you can see here. And for your um, ultra special occasions where money is not an object, they can have private dining within the, the um, you know, the cellar and within the the, uh, the hotel. So. To sum up, downtown Nassau is lots of history. It's a pirate nation. So, of course, you've got the pirate museums, you've got Junkanoo museums, you've got so many things to just see within that short walking distance. The Queen Staircase is historic, but it's certainly one uh, that is definitely an Instagram uh, Instagrammable site to visit. The Bahama Barrels with its umbrellas and all that, very, very colorful. Again, really Instagrammable. So, Think about your millennials or the, you know, the girls get away or the, you know, boys get away. Of course, the boys get away. There's plenty other things like deep sea fishing and diving and, you know, um, encounters with sharks and, uh, you know, boat trips. There's, there's so much to do. Uh, diving is amazing as well. Sharks are, by the way, protected species in the Bahamas. So if anybody wants to do um, diving with sharks, this is the place to do it. Going across into Paradise Island, um, Yasmin will talk about Comfort Suite, which is, you know, really nice, sweet, beautiful hotel in the heart of Paradise Island. But let me talk to you about the, the main attraction uh, here, and that's Atlantis Paradise Island. You've got five hotels here. The Coral is sort of the leading hotel. And by the way, it's looking stunning. It's, you know, I um, had the opportunity to spend some time at the Coral and the Predator Pool is just there. Again, you've got these, you know, um, uh, tunnel through the aquarium so you can watch all these sharks and all these predators. There is like a stingray pool and there's these, uh, you know, bridges with ropes that kids can walk onto so this is a really nice leading family product or even you know uh, um, young couples or just you know group of friends going away so this is if if, if money is is an issue well budget they budget savvy then the coral is a good option then you've of course got royal which is the heart of the activities this is where you've got um uh, Equa Venture, you've got, um, of course, the casino is here, there is an area for shops, all the, the, the fun stuff happens in the Royal, you have uh, the Cove, which is the high end product within this resort, absolutely stunning, it has got its sort of private beach area, um, as you can see in this picture, and then at the back, you've got the reef, which is more um, and a park concept, so it's home away from home. So if you've got anybody who's perhaps got special uh, dietary requests or babies, young babies, then they've got a little kitchenette. So that helps quite a lot in, in terms of um, managing that. But again, fantastic for multi-generational travel, fantastic for couples, families. Equaventure is amazing. You could spend a whole day there and they have a nice piece of beach as well. So all in all, it's and, and of course, you've got the marina area where you've got lots of uh, restaurants and shops. So and they also do, I think, twice a week, a small Junkanoo parade. So plenty happening in this area. Um. Let's move on. Oh, somewhere else. So we had um, the beach at some point, which is now taken over um, and uh, it's going to open as somewhere else. It's a concept that we'll know a little bit more once, uh, you know, they've, they've finalized the plans. So a little bit of uh, insight into what the rooms look like, what the outside area looks like in each of the hotels. The reef, as you, as you can see, has got, you know, fantastic uninterrupted views of the, the you know, the coastline. You've got the cove, um, 600 ocean view and superior ocean suites. 
Um, that stunning piece of beach, absolutely beautiful. You've then got the coral. You've got these little cabanas that you can you can uh, rent for the day, and the royal again, as you can see, it's it's a big big hotel. And then you've got this. Just Farrell Williams took the beach over, and we're expecting it to reopen next year, and it's uh, expected to have four hundred rooms once uh, once it opens up. So. Keep an eye out for it. Keep in touch with us via NASA Rewards. And as soon as we know a little bit more, we'll, we'll be able to share that information. So why? Why would you recommend Atlantis? You've got 21 restaurants. You've got 19 bars and lounges. Fantastic kids club. Crush, which is teenagers uh, um, club, is, is brilliant. It's got all the latest um, uh, you know, gadgets for games and things. It's got a casino. It's, of course, got the water park. It's got the large, largest open air marine habitat and there are um, uh, research and conservation but also opportunity for you to um, have interactions with some marine uh, um, species there as well. The Ocean Club, um, again it is um, you know famous because of its Bond connections, uh, a few Bond movies, uh, the latest one being Casino Royale was shot here, uh, there's some stunning um, uh, villas here. So think about people wanting the privacy, maybe celebrities or um, couples, then this is you know, this is a good option. Just a little bit insight into what the villa and villa residences look like. Uh, you have to book it well in advance, but this is one that uh, is definitely worth keeping in mind. Uh, we have a small, um, you know, 42, uh, 44 villas property, which is uh, Paradise Island Beach Club. Um, you know, again, if somebody's looking for something small, but still want access to all the, uh, you know, fun things happening in the marina or want to use AquaVenture, then this is a, a nice option. The other member property we have, which is very sweet and small, is one bedroom suites and two bedroom townhomes um, uh, concept, and that's Bayview Suites. So hopefully that gives you um, some idea of how diverse the accommodation product um, is available on ground in Nassau in Paradise Island. Um, you know, we've got excellent airlift now. I wanted to just share a couple of more tips for you. Think about all the clients we send uh, from UK into the US over summer. Uh, it, Nassau can be a, an easy extension. It's about a 40 minutes flight from Orlando, uh, Florida, or you know, um, 45 minutes from, from Miami or anywhere along in East Coast, so New York, Atlanta. It's about a three hour flight. So it's very easy to combine it as a two center. But Canada is an interesting uh, twin center. So think about combining Toronto, Niagara with cool down or beach um, at the end in, in Nassau. So plenty of choices. And again, if you need some more insight, you need some more information, then feel free to reach out. With that, I just wanted to sum this up. So paradise is closer than you think. Uh, every time you're talking to your client, if the brief matches, please think about us. Uh, I wanted to sum up with a little bit uh, of um, insight into uh, a rewards program. We offer 20 pounds reward for a minimum of four nights stay in our member hotels. And I've listed the member hotels. You can grab um, the QR code here, which will which will give you access to a download a downloadable uh, PDF of our um, product brochure, and then of course you've got the website, which will give you a lot more insight into unique things to do. I mentioned foodie tours, I mentioned museums, I mentioned the his history, the culture, you know, 
uh, water parks. So there is so much to do, you know, all the water activities, you know, diving, snorkeling, um, to center within the Bahamas, of course, Exuma. So for, for example, you could do sandals, Royal Bahamian with sandals Exuma. So there is so many options to twin center, um, you know, so, so think about it and feel free to reach out if you need any tips. With that, I will hand over to Yasmin to talk us uh, talk us through Comfort Suite and why you should consider Comfort Suites for your color, for, for your clients. I'll stop sharing now. Good, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How is everybody? We're good. It was so great to, to host you, Sangeeta. Thank you for that. That it's a wonderful we had, opportunity. I had a love, we did have we did have a wonderful time. Thank you. I don't want to make everybody jealous, so I won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure everyone can see my screen. We can if you just go okay. into present mode because we're seeing you. Um... All right. So let's get there. Oh, wrong place. Mm -hmm. One second. If you look at it at the bottom, there is like an icon. Mm -hmm. This is being blocked. Let's just minimize that. There we go. My Zoom window. That's it. All right. Oh, we can't hear um, uh, the sound, Yasmin. So you'll have to stop sharing. And there is on the left hand side at the bottom, there is a um, optimization. So you need to click share sound. Ah, okay. One moment. I apologize. No worries. So I stopped it. Let's share it again. And then just before you press share, you should be able to see there is on the left hand side a little. Um, uh, there's two two little areas you need to tick. So all you do is share sound rather than optimize. Uh, share sound, okay. Got yeah, it. that's it. So unclick optimize? No, just share sound. Okay. Thank you, Sangeeta. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Take two. Good morning. Good morning. Everyone can still hear me. Yes, we, we can. can. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much, Sangeeta, for giving us that wonderful intro into Paradise Island and of course Nassau. So just a little background about us here in Paradise at Comfort Suite Paradise Island. We're actually a 31-year-old property. So we're so proud to have maintained the same ownership since inception. And of course, as a comfort suites, we are a part of the choice brand of hotels. And what this does is entitle all of our very, very valued guests to all the standard brand amenities of the choice hotels, in addition to our very unique features on Paradise Island. We have a complement of 223 junior suites. And what that is, is all either king or double bedded junior suites with a mini in-room divider that separates the bed, bedded area from the sofa bed area. Each junior suite includes a sofa bed that pulls out completely made. We are one of the only choice branded properties around the world that actually has a full service on-site restaurant, our Cusos restaurant and bar. We're very proud of it operates daily, serving lunch between 12 and four and dinner between 5.30 and nine. And of course we have a daily happy hour at our splash swim up pool bar. This is an aerial of our pool deck. It's one of the areas that were, were renovated and rejuvenated in the past few years. We re and re 
grounded the entire deck, removing the old surfacing and also resurfacing the pool and changing all of the exterior furniture and the furniture at our Crusoe's restaurant. Some of our value added amenities, the most important one that you would have um, seen highlighted in our video, of course, is our exclusive access to the AquaVenture Water Park. So all, every registered guest of Comfort Suites Paradise Island, um, the rooms have a maximum of four occupancy. So that can be one parent, three kids, two parents, two kids, whichever combination you need. Every registered guest would receive access to this exclusive amenity. And that's from the time of arrival to the time of departure. Also included is a complimentary full American buffet breakfast daily for all of our registered guests. Our kids 11 and under stay, play, and eat free with their parents at our Cusos restaurant. So that's kids 11 and under. They stay, play, and eat free. Also, um, we're so happy to share that we um, relaunched our manager's rum punch party. This was an initiative that we had paused due to COVID and we're happy that it's back. We have a couple extra days in the offering. So every week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, our managers put on a rum punch party on our pool deck. And it's a great time where we engage our, our guests, we touch base. It gives us a, a, an opportunity to make a few extra connections and just make sure, you know, everything's going well during the stay. This is a, an, an, an image rendering of a family dining at our actual outdoor Crusoe's restaurant. Just in the background will be our pool bar and our full pool deck. Additional amenities of the property include complimentary use of our business center, Wi-Fi, in-room safes, microwaves, and cribs. Some of them are choice branded and some of them are paradise proven. <laughs> we also provide complimentary parking, in-room safes, and local calls. We also are happy to be able to provide complimentary bottled water. This is provided in-room and it's replenished daily with housekeeping services. Some of our awards that we're so proud of, um, most recent would be our Booking.com Traveler Review Award. We've received two consecutive for the 2021 and 2022 period. We're also a proud TripAdvisor Hall of Fame inductee. Um, and this is for receiving five consecutive Certificate of Excellence Awards. We've received two consecutive Traveler's Choice Awards, two consecutive Golden Apple Awards, and we also received the best new partner for Expedia's VIP access program, which we are still a member of today. And here we have some artist image renderings on the very bottom on the left is the actual splash swimmer pool bar on the top of our front desk. And on the right is our bamboo bar, which is located in our hotel lobby. Some of the things that we've done, total refurbishment spend currently exceeds 11 million. This includes updates to our guest rooms, meeting rooms, public spaces, interior, exterior, our lobby. We've rebranded our pool bar to the splash bar, resurfaced the entire pool and deck, as I mentioned earlier, rejuvenated our gardens and surrounded the pool deck with fresh and new, beautiful foliage. The bougainvilleas are in bloom now and they are just a dream to see. We have all new pool deck furniture and new restaurant furniture. We've rejuvenated our front entrance and the bamboo terrace. And we are so happy to announce that we will be undertaking the completion of our full guest room furniture. So just before COVID, we had one full thing completed. And of course, COVID put a pause on it. We're happy to advise that we have begun to re-engage this, this progress plan in order to complete the entire, to outfit the entire property. <clears throat> so our current promotion that's available, it's available, it can be booked directly with the hotel, is our fourth night free. With a minimum stay of three paid nights, um, any guest can receive a fourth night free. Now the free night is subject to taxes. However, the base rate is completely free. And in addition to the free night, you're able to receive a food and beverage credit per room of up to $100. And that's based on the length of stay. A rendering of our Cusos restaurant and swimmer bar. And here you can feel free to grab a snapshot of my contact card. And I know at the end there will be an opportunity for questions. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Yasmin. That's fantastic. And yes, the bougainvilleas are looking stunning. Um, and the palm trees are looking stunning as well. So well done you on that. And um, Vashti, it's over to you. We can't wait to hear all about Goldwyn. Thank you, Sangeeta. And the welcome everyone. Greetings, greetings, greetings from Goldwyn Resorts and Residence. Uh, so excited to share this uh, beautiful brand new property with everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Okay, can everyone? We can see it, yep. thank you. Perfect, thank you. So lots going on um, in the Bahamas, new projects, new investments, and you know we're excited to now announce the brand new Goldwyn Resorts and Residences. We would have just opened the doors on February 1st, so brand new resort and hotel, uh, super excited to share more. Um, so just a bit of a, um, sorry, one second. So just some background on the property. So the property is a brand new build. Um, there was a rundown estate that was um, near the beach and we it was demolished um, and it was called the Gold Blossom. So the owners are the Wynn Brothers and essentially the name from Gold Blossom and the Wynn Brothers, we uh, created Gold Wynn. Okay, so brand new property, brand new build. It's a boutique resort, beachfront. So we are essentially built on the beach. So um, very, very close access to that amenity there. And just to give you, oh, sorry here. Okay, and just to give you an idea of where we are located. So we are located on Cable Beach. We are about a three minute drive from Baja Mar and a 15 minute walk to Bahamar via uh, the beach. And we are a 15 minute uh, drive from the airport, okay? So we say private yet prime because we are in a uh, private location, but the location is also prime as well um, on the beautiful Cable Beach. So this is our beautiful property here. So you can see here, we are just feet away from the shoreline. So absolutely beautiful property. I have to highlight, we have 81 unique hotel rooms. So the building is split into two actually. So we have half of the building with 81 hotel rooms. And then we have the other half of the resort, which is 79 units for residents. Okay. so. We get the question a lot that the building looks very big for just 81 rooms. So yes, so the building is split into two. Okay, and you can see here our beautiful infinity pool, our uh, pool deck here, and we will get into our room categories as well. So we are affiliated with small luxury hotels of the world. We're the only resort in the Bahamas with this affiliation. So we're very excited about that. Um, we have studios, one, two, and three bedroom suites as our room categories. Okay. And this here is an image of an edge suite, which has 360 uh, panoramic views of the ocean, so very gorgeous. Some of the features for this room category is a full kitchen, living area, and a very, very spacious terrace as well. So just another view of the edge suites. So these are our highest room categories. Okay. And then we have the two bedroom suites which as well, again, has very, very spacious terrace, beautiful views. So for these room categories, you have three views. You can have a view of the golf course, you can have a view of the on the ocean side, and then you can have a premium view, which is a combination of the garden and the ocean as well. Okay, and the configuration for the suite, uh, they would have two bedrooms. One of the rooms would have a king bed and the second room would have a queen bed. So a two bedroom suite can sleep up to four adults and two kids. They all have uh, the queen sofa pullout bed as well. 
okay? And for the two bedroom and three bedroom suites, they all include butler service and they can have a personalized uh, meal made by the chef in those two uh, room category suites. Okay, and this is the one bedroom, as you can see here, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful full kitchen, very spacious dining area, living area as well. So very beautiful. These are the definitely the room categories that we recommend for couples, also small families. We definitely recommend the suite. And this is our premium studio um, room categories here. So the premium studios are much, much more spacious. So you can see here a very spacious living area, again, very generous terrace. And as we get into the studios, they all have kitchenettes. So they do have the mini fridge, dishwasher, two burner stove, microwave, etc. Okay. So again, here, this is our entry level room. So as we can see now, this is a golf um, view. So we do have a view of the Royal Blue Golf Course. Um, which is owned by Bahamar. And a frequent question that we do get is, do we get preferred golf rates for the Goldwyn guests? And the answer is yes. Um, so uh, we're happy to share what those uh, preferred rates are. Okay. So you can see here, this uh, all of the studios have the kitchenettes, which is really good. We also provide services, whereas um, the guests can have groceries delivered and placed into the room before arrival as well, okay? And this here, just a beautiful view of our infinity pool. It is heated, um, definitely a highlight. And you can see that it's just, you know, right on the beach. So very, very close there. And uh, for our pool deck here, we do have six cabanas. Here's a view of what the inside looks like. We have three on both sides of the property. They're all butler attended. Um, this is the gorgeous view that you have. And it does um, include complimentary fruit platter, uh, water, and then your choice of uh, wine or champagne. And some more imagery here. So included in our resort fee, we do have non-motorized water sports, we have a 24 hour fitness gym, very state of the art. All of our equipment is techno gym. So great experience there. Um, it does include yoga, which is once every week, every Friday. So very good to enjoy. It includes in suite dining and then also of course, unlimited calls. And we do have a spa, uh, more to come on that. Uh, the spa is set to be open on May 15th. So definitely do um, stay tuned for more information on that. It's going to be called the Rizophora Spa. And there's going to be three treatment rooms, a private nail salon, and much more to come there. Okay, so this is the view of the property um, from the other side. So of course, one side of the property faces the ocean, and the other side has this gorgeous view of the golf course. And for food and beverage, um, we do have a mix of restaurants and bars. We have four in total. Okay, so we're just going to dive into that. But this is a gorgeous view of our Oya restaurant here. I mean, just beautiful. So Oya is Mediterranean Asian cuisine. So this is the indoor um, seating here. And then this would have been the outdoor seating. So you can still see here the ocean. Is, this view is just wrapped. And you can see all of the ocean, you know, as you dine, enjoy the bar. So this uh, outlet is open for right now breakfast from 6.30 to 11 a.m. Uh, we will soon launch brunch at this venue. And then it is now open for dinner from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, so just a great place to enjoy. We do have also Atria which is um, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. in the morning for coffees, in the afternoon smoothies, and of course in the evening for nice cocktails, great vibes. We also have a live piano that's in the space. So we do have live music theme nights as well. And for Amara, this is our lunch uh, poolside eatery right now, which is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And 
this photo here is the view as you dine at Amara. So again, very close to the beach, amazing view. And then we do have Bar Paul, which is our later outlet um, that you can enjoy cocktails, even when the restaurant is closed um, and also has a view of the ocean and has chair seating as well. And this is just a view of our infinity pool. And as you look at this photo, um, you can see, you cannot even see the sand here really. So that can show you just how close we are to the ocean. It's, you know, the blue merges. So it's absolutely stunning and breathtaking. Um, so yes, this is our gorgeous, gorgeous view. And you would see this view the moment that you actually walk into uh, the entrance at the lobby. This is the view that you see. So very, very exciting. Um, cannot wait to welcome all of you. So just some information on how and where to book. So of course you can book directly through our website. We are affiliated with SLH. So that's also a booking portal. We are live with Delta Vacations, Classic Vacations, Air Canada Vacations, Ultimate Jet Vacations, and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Okay, and also more to come as well with uh, Virtuoso and Signature. And um, again, if there are questions, that's fine. Please do take um, it's just a quick snapshot of this page. So um, I am the event planning and guest experience manager on property. I'm on site and I do have the amazing uh, director of sales and marketing, who is Melissa. So um, we are here to support and excited to welcome everyone and all of their clients. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vasi. That was amazing. Um, so who wants to go to Nassau? I see that we've got Christine and Alison heading there in May. Um, make sure you reach out if you need any tips. And then a patty. Um, I see that you have some clients going there uh, to, you know, Cove. So make sure you log those bookings because you're missing out on the rewards if you haven't. And please drop me a quick line. I'd like to chat with you. Um, and Cindy, yeah, 100%. I will put my email address uh, shortly in that um, um, chat. So look out for it and reach out. Over to you, Sarah. Um, I would like to go, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, amazing hotel. Um, super amazing. So very, very excited to see that. So um, we've got a couple of questions that have come in for you. Um, so let's start with um, Andrea. Um, this is for Vashti and Yasmin. Um, do you give travel agent rates on these resorts and hotels? Yes. Oh. Sorry. Yes, we do. Um, we do have a travel agent rate um, currently, which is 50% uh, off of the best available rates. Um, so, yes, definitely please do reach out to us. Super. Thank you. Yasmin? And yes, likewise. Now I can be contacted directly for the rates as they are all based on the season and the demand. So the contacts on the end of my presentation, feel free to use it, guys. I'll, I'll also drop my email in the chat. Okay, lovely. And I will send a follow-up anyway with your contact details in so everybody can contact you easily. So um, don't worry about that. Um, Sangeeta, this is for you. Michael's asked, is gay just, marriage legal yeah, in just, the just to go back, and of course, the other member hotels also offer uh, the rates. It's always good to get in touch with us, SDA. Um, staff travel voyages has got some rates so it's always good to check with me or check through them or as, as you will have Rashti's and uh, Yasmin's contact details always reach out to us and we'll, we'll do our best uh, sorry try me again one more time Sarah um, is gay marriage legal in the Bahamas so that's not a question for me. Uh, I'm a Paradise Island. Uh, I'm I'm a promotion board, so I'm a CVB. It's more um, uh, the Bahamas Tourist Office question, or you know, but you know, gay mer gay um, the Bahamas is getting more gay friendly, and of course, everyone is welcome at our resort. So if that helps, uh, I, I can get back to you on that. Uh, I'm not too sure about the gay marriages. Okay, I would imagine that it's the legal side that will be maybe... It, and this is it, that's not, yeah, it's the legal side, so I will defer that to the BTO, the Bahamas Stories Office, and I'll be sure to reach out. I'm just trying to see who's asked that question so I can take note. I okay. know, it's fine, yeah. 
Um, is Goldwyn on Paradise Island? Hi, so we are not. We are located on Cable Beach, so um, just about three minutes away from Bahamar. So we are Cable Beach, yeah. Okay. Okay, super. Um, is the old Carnival Casino Resort still on Cable Beach, Sangeeta? I'm not a member hotel, so sorry, I, I can't. I can again check and let you know. They're not my. They're not a member hotel, so I can't. Uh, you know. Okay. Um, all inclusives for families and adults. So at the moment, that is one gap we have in our member hotels. Um, Nassau is not really an all inclusive um, destination because everything is easily accessible. There are couple of options but they're not my member hotels we did have Melia which you know we're waiting to find out that was a fantastic uh, family all-inclusive um, product it is a gap at the moment and we're we're putting a case together for it so we'll see but right now like I said it's not you don't need to go on an all-inclusive because everything is literally if you stay for example um, at Goldwyn you know you've got the whole of Arawak Key, you've got all the local restaurants, you know, you, you're maybe about 15 minutes taxi ride into downtown Nassau. If you're staying on Paradise Island, if you're staying with Comfort Suite, for example, you know, they've got a restaurant, but literally a five minutes walk, you're in the marina and you've got all this, you've got, you know, Burger Shack, you've got Ben and Jerry's, you've got pizza places, you know, you've got fine dining all sorts it's all there so you don't actually need one top thing to remember guys is that wherever you stay with our member hotels um breakfast is generally not included unless you're staying at sandals and it's all inclusive comfort suite does a breakfast so that's a a, a big tick um so if you you know you've got clients who perhaps budget conscious but want access to all the Atlantis facilities then you stay at Comfort Suite which is what I did I couldn't afford to stay at Atlantis so I stayed with Comfort Suite and then I used all the facilities um, of um, uh, you know Atlantis I also walked along the bridge and I went to an area called Porter's Key where you have these little shacks that offer you um a conch salad which is a delicacy there uh you know you've got all these conch fritters you've got these little little restaurants shack like restaurants right on on the front it's it's amazing and it it was maybe a 10 minutes walk uh a little bit more I walk a little bit far so you don't need an all-inclusive you know you've got all all these options um right hopefully that answers the questions super yes it does and um, would you recommend car hire Sangeeta. You can, yeah, you can, but it's taxis were quite easy. You, you know, it was quite nice to walk around. But yes, you can hire a car. I'm. You probably need to hire it one day or two days just to go around if you wanted to. Taxis are easily available. Okay. Super. I use taxis to go everywhere or walk. Yeah. Super. Thank you. We don't have any more questions that have come in. Um. So. Uh, think there was a couple in chat I hope we've moved everything over um okay so we have a question for all of you so if everybody can go to um chat to make sure your drop down says everyone so just as a reminder every single person on the webinar today gets an entry into the spin to win if you answer this question correctly and you are the first person you'll get 10 entries so we will let you know tomorrow if you are a winner and um, when I send the recording out and uh, the copy of all the email addresses of all the speakers. So Sangeeta, I believe you have a question for me. I do. So I've had to tweak it a little bit. So here we are. How many rooms are there at Goldwyn Resorts and Residences? Okay, so um, 81. Is that the correct answer? I believe so. Yes, Vashti? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you all. How you are you on fire? <laughs> Brilliant. So Carol, thank you. Carol Smith was the top one for that one. So you'll be popped in 10 times. So a big, big thank you, everybody. Um, Sangeeta, Vashti, Yasmin, you're amazing. Thank you. Um, do you have anything else to add? 
I just wanted to say thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Thank you to Vashti and, and Yasmin for uh, taking the time out today. It's very early in the morning there in, in Bahamas. I'm here in UK, so um, I'm fine. But um, again, agents, you're amazing. Keep giving us your love. Keep supporting us. Think about us every time you have a brief uh, for anyone wanting to go to the Bahamas. And we're here to help. So reach out. And thank you, Sarah, for facilitating this. We couldn't no have done problem. it without you. Very welcome. Very welcome. So I'll send you the recording tomorrow, everybody. So have a great rest of the day. Great evening. And uh, we'll speak to you all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you, ladies. Bye.